What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Kiki Palmer's baby daddy pulls the traditional card while not being a traditional man and gets dragged. This That is a great, great title. Before we even get into this, I just would like to say something. If you're going to be in a relationship with an entertainer, and that obviously goes for men as well, you know what you got to deal with. But I ain't even talk about her entertaining Usher because he didn't even say that. It wasn't about her entertaining Usher, I don't feel like, because let's be very clear. She is a, um, she's an entertainer, you know what I'm saying? And entertainment calls entertaining things, okay? Entertaining people. That's what entertainers do. Now, for some reason, you know, first of all, I'm not an advocate of men telling women what to wear. <clears throat> I'm not an advocate of anybody telling a woman what to wear. However, in this case, she was at an Usher concert. She's Kiki Palmer. And I've seen worse. Like, before we even get into what sis got to say, like, from this outfit, if you ask me, she covered up what you could really see. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even have to wear a cover up with that. But we've seen a lot of women on stage, and I know for some reason y'all like to throw out it's a difference when it's on stage or throw out a difference when it's not on stage. Shorts is shorts, you know what I'm saying? Booty is booty, you know what I'm saying? Boobies is boobies. We don't have to make this rocket science, all right? Whether you in a performance, whether you up the street at Walmart or at an Usher concert, baby, she decided that she wanted to wear that, and I think she had every right to do so. So her covering up what you really could see, I feel like she was doing somebody a due diligence. Obviously, that would be him. If you such a traditional, uh, such a traditional man, I have several questions. As a traditional man, why in the hell didn't you stop her before she left out the house? I don't understand that. On her way out the house, right? You didn't think to say, hey, 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 babe. That's a bit much, don't you think? But not only that, why is it that you had to see what she had on on the post? Because say, for instance, y'all wasn't with each other, right? Boom, baby, let me see you before you go out. You know what I'm saying? I want to check out that outfit. You know, that's what most niggas do. Call me when you get dressed. I'm trying to see what you're looking like. Why the hell she ain't call you? Mr. Traditional. I mean, I have a third traditional question. Why the hell you wasn't there? As a traditional man, I would be in the house. I mean, excuse me, I would be wherever the hell she at, traditionally. You get what I'm saying? So I just had several questions. You know, that was probably two, but I don't care. It's the outfit, though. You a mom. So she not, he, he didn't decide to speak about how she hugged on Usher. And then he get the serenade in her. Ooh, girl, look at you. You worried about the outfit? Okay, okay, okay. Let me get this. Let me get this. So it's cool for her to be all up on Usher getting serenaded. That makes sense. But the outfit is worse. First of all, my nigga, you could have hit my phone. You baby daddy, you could have hit my phone. Ain't nobody got time for this shit. <laughs> Better sing it, Usher. Hi, ladies. It's Yanni, and I'm back with another video. So I wanted she to do an update on this Kiki Palmer situation. It is apparent mm. that Kiki Palmer and Darius have unfollowed each other on social media. And Darius <laughs> has... <laughs> you could have called me the fuck you explain. You complain it to the world for hello. Girl, we all was over here like that. Goes my baby. Oh, girl. Look. 
Hold on. What? <laughs> he said what? <laughs> like nobody was checking for him. He wasn't checking for nobody. <laughs> Nothing. But suddenly, like, you know what? Instead of me calling her, I'm going to tell the world, Craig. <laughs> also deleted his Twitter. Y'all done ran this He man deleted off his but Twitter. I want to add to this conversation that's floating around all over social media is that modern men love to bring in traditionalism. They love to mm. pull the traditional card when it mm. benefits them. Mm -hmm. But when it does not benefit them, right. they are oblivious to what traditional roles actually look like mm. and how traditional roles are modeled. And Darius has not shown any of us that he is fulfilling those traditional roles Ooh. according to the values that Ooh. he wanted to express behind this Usher video. Okay. This is what I've been warning about where men want to overturn traditional values for themselves but maintain them for women. You are broke and leech off of your girlfriend's fame and money. You have not. Hold on. We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't. Okay, we're Contributed ready. anything to society. And yet you have the audacity to tell her what she can wear and what she can't post on the internet. And you have the audacity to claim that you're a conservative traditional male. You are none of those things. You are, you haven't even married her yet. And this Hello. is why a lot of people didn't really understand where he was coming from because it's like, this isn't your wife. To showcase booty cheeks to, to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family, my representation. I have standards. You know what? Y'all on the something. Glass is bright ass light. But y'all on to something with that one. Because you right. Nigga, we not even married. You were talking about a family and traditionalism. You ain't even my man for real. Like, we ain't even married. <laughs> and then if you want to talk about traditional, why the hell we have a baby before we got married? Probably because he couldn't afford no fucking ring. Would just say that? He took to Twitter and he wrote, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please Like, bitch, you just came in my life. Much of Listen, I've been Kiki Palmer. I've been Kiki Palmer. This is what I do. I Kiki, okay? And then here you come. Interrupt this shit. Complaining about my outfit. That's how I feel. It wasn't the outfit. It was Usher. That's how I feel. Because, my nigga, you telling me you was cool with the serenade. Nigga, Usher had her with one arm. Y'all know that's player shit. He had her with one arm with the serenade. There goes my baby. You know what I'm saying? That shit's hell. You know what I'm saying? That's not the problem because that would have been my problem. <laughs> I ain't this gonna lie. However, she is an entertainer. I have to deal with that. Family and my representation, I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest <laughs> my case. Another reason why people were confused is because he would post pictures of Kiki Palmer like this to her TikTok. He's the one that Excuse me, what? I don't necessarily want to show y'all because I don't want to get the yellow boy. But y'all see, hell, she half naked. That's holding the camera. Excuse and me, she's naked. And then there was another video where he posted of her shaking, you know, her booty in the camera. It just worked. <laughs> oh. So since she's covered up, it's not a problem. Yeah, it was Usher. Yeah. It was no. Usher that was calling so him many wrong. ways are not aligning with the statement that he made. I think he would have gotten a totally different reaction. This nigga public. had to delete Twitter to not see this shit. If his actions he knew he, they was going to be on the his statement ass. that he made and it just didn't. A Twitter user wrote, he addressed it on Twitter because his voice don't carry weight like that in the house. That's Ooh. why he has all the same opinions of the dudes who record YouTube videos in the car. What? And I would have to agree with this. I think the reason why Darius ran to Twitter is because he does not carry his weight in this relationship. And so he felt like he needed to be validated by the public because mm. speaking to her in private wasn't going to hold any weight because he's not pulling his own weight in his 
relationship. Let me ask all of us a question as well. How do we know he ain't got, <clears throat> how do we know he don't have no money? What's his name, y'all? So I can look up his net worth. But he, because, so he felt like he needed to be validated. I mean, we all the- just saying he ain't got no money. Like he really don't have no money. Road. Tell me it's his name. Watching a man get on social media and opine no, I haven't about seen him and condition after <laughs> having had. Friend, you saw him working? Not necessarily. But what I am going to say is I haven't not not seen him working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I listen. Premarital sex, getting his girlfriend. I ain't going to lie, that was hilarious. And still not marrying her. Another Twitter user wrote, Kiki been getting so much shine and positivity lately too, especially online. So you can just tell by his reaction, it's been eating him up. He was looking for a moment to humble her in this space specifically. Mm. Another Twitter user wrote, that man triggered the F out of me. Mothers are reduced to nothing. Fed this lie, they can not do anything after a baby. Judge so harshly made to feel like they can no longer be sexy or have fun or go. And y'all know the problem with that. These niggas be having all this stuff to say about these women and ain't never had a child. Can't have a child. You ain't got to shut up. Uh, Chrissy, go ahead. Speak your piece. Ultimately, though, I stand with a woman being able to do whatever the hell she please. Go out or exist as a person. They are routinely denied. Chrissy, you know, I always use every night. It pisses me off. My final thoughts when it comes to this situation is that I simply Darius didn't Jackson take what Kiki right. Palmer did in this video with Usher seriously at all. I think they both gave fans what they wanted to see. And also Kiki Palmer was able to admire Usher, you know, probably a man that she was a fan of, like a lot of us. And she was fangirling, but she was also giving her fans and his fans what they wanted to see. They are two entertainers. So me personally, I didn't take this video serious. I don't think what Kiki had on was the issue. I really think it was the chemistry that was shared between these two in this video. And that triggered his insecurities as a man. And he got flustered and he ran to Twitter for validation. So that's all that I have regarding this video. I I would love your thoughts and your opinions regarding this situation. Do you think Kiki Palmer disrespected (laughs) her relationship? Do you think she disrespected her man? Comment down below. I would like to hear from you. And if you're new here, please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you are notified from when i upload and i'll catch oh you ain't stopping what's going on with me so if you gonna act up i'm about to link up fair i think um if she wasn't kiki palmer and she was just my girlfriend and she ain't a celebrity shit like that i would have been picked not with what she had on, how she was acting towards Usher. Now, on the flip side of that, if she was Kiki Palmer as she is and I'm dating Kiki Palmer, it kind of is what it is. I feel like when you when you dating a person who is a is a you know what I'm saying? Like a celebrity and a entertainer has to entertain. Entertaining is entertaining. That's it. Uh, I think our culture has women dressing in less and less. There is no modest or respect for what should be private on our body. He wrong for going on the media, though, if she not listening. I feel you. Um... And what I have to say to that is if men can have their damn chest out and uh, they print can show in their gray sweatpants and they can show in their shorts, I don't think that's any different than a woman. Uh, cheeks, obviously, you can see her cheeks or you can see a little bit of cleavage. cleavage. Um, but also, like, life is short. Who the fuck is about to be counting 
what they wearing and what they not wearing. Why aren't all of us in on this earth focused on just living life to the fullest of how we want to? And I think it's because we've been conditioned to do different. But not only that, I just find it funny that it's acceptable for niggas to do certain things that they do and, 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 and live. So, like I got to talk about this Adam 22 thing, but this going to be on another video, but I'm just going to give y'all an example with Adam 22. He recently married his, his wife, you know, him and his wife are married. They do porn together. Right? <clears throat> so boom, they doing a thing and he's smashed a lot of women with her. And it was her time to smash another guy, right? She smashed another guy. The whole world went into a frenzy. And obviously the fact that he's a BBC. But here's my thing. Why the hell are y'all in a frenzy when he smashed a lot of women? Which to Adam's point, this is the first time I can say Adam don't sound narcissistic at all. Like he said, I mean, shit, I smashed a whole bunch of women. Why can't she smash one guy? But a lot of guys are saying like, it's okay for me to do it, but it's not okay for her to do it. I just never agree with that in society. I just, I've never, ever agreed with that shit in society. And, um, I feel like everybody should be able to dress how they want and do what it is that they want. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.